Hi everyone, I'm Jesse Cercelli with UAV Coach and let me tell you a little secret. This is my first video with UAV Coach. I'm a videographer and photographer and I've been flying FPV drones for about five years for my clients. All the way from real estate videos to YouTube promotional videos. And what's really unique about FPV drones is the footage they get. Nothing's quite like it. So today, we're going to talk about what FPV is, why you should consider getting into FPV, and how to start flying. FPV stands for first person view, and it gets its name because pilots literally have a first person view of what it's like to become a drone. The drone transmits video footage from the transmitter with very little latency to pilots' FPV goggles. Pilots wear these goggles in order for the pilot to become fully immersed into their flight and to fly the drone with extreme precision. For example, FPV pilots can dive skyscrapers, shoot tiny gaps underneath bridges, and do all sorts of other incredible aerial maneuvers at high speeds that regular drones just can't achieve. You could find FPV shots today on TV, during sports broadcasts, commercials, and even Hollywood films. Another major difference that separates FPV drones from regular drones are the flight controls. FPV drones must be flown manually at all times. That means you can't just let go of the remote and expect the drone to stay in the air. You must consistently give the drone inputs in order to stay stable. That's where the skill of flying FPV drones comes into play. This is not something people can just magically learn overnight. Instead, it's something that takes a lot of practice. But that's the beauty of it. When you can master the art of FPV, it can lead to unimaginably enjoyable flights. So what's the best way to learn FPV? In my opinion, it's with micro drones. Now, I know it's tempting to want to start out with something beefier, like the DJI Avada, especially if you're already flying one of their other models. But trust me, micro drones are the best way beginners can get involved with FPV. And it really boils down to three reasons why. Number one, the cost. I own three different micro drones, the Tiny Hawk 2, the Tiny Hawk 3 Ready to Fly Kit, and the Mobula 6. Here are the prices of each of those. Do you notice something? All are way less expensive than the DJI Avada kit. I remember when I was first just beginning my FPV journey. I knew I didn't want to risk crashing, breaking, or losing a drone that costs as much as the DJI Avada. So I figured I could get good enough at learning FPV flight modes with micro drones, then I could graduate to something that might be a little bit more expensive. So let's go over what you get with each drone option. But before I do, I just wanna mention that I'm not being paid to promote any of these brands or models during this video. Rather, this is just what I chose for myself after doing research about what to buy. The Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly option comes with everything you need to get started. It comes with a drone, controller, goggles, chargers, spare props, and some tools and extra spare parts. There's no need to solder anything. You don't need to mess around in a flight controller software. You don't even need to find the tiny button to bind the drone to the controller. It comes right out of the box, ready to fly. The Tiny Hawk 2 ready to fly kit is a bit cheaper since it's an older model, but it also comes with everything you need to get up and running with FPV. I did have this kit and I remember the quality of the goggles and the controllers not being as quality as the Tiny Hawk 3, but it still did the job. And finally, this is my Mobula 6. She's my baby. The Mobula 6 is generally faster and more stable in the air, but that might be due to the fact that it doesn't come with any goggles or controllers, so I had to buy those separate. And those are definitely an upgrade. If you know you want to stick with FPV, this could be a better route to take. Since it's a better drone, you'll definitely have an upgraded goggle set and your controller will be good for future drones. Number two, ease of use. All these micro drones are lightweight, durable, and safe to fly indoors. Both of the Tiny Hawks only weigh about 32 grams and the Mobula weighs 20 grams. They also all have prop guards, which will protect anything that you accidentally run into while you're flying, even yourself. 
The three manual flight modes you'll learn with these drones are angle mode, horizon mode, also known as stable mode, and acro mode. Practicing all three manual flight modes with micro drones is an easy way to get real world flying experience that you need to comfortably fly FPV drones. Number three, compatibility. Once you get the muscle memory to fly smaller FPV drones, the transition to flying larger FPV drones is basically seamless. In fact, it's probably a lot easier. Larger props plus more powerful motors equal more stable flights. One note to make sure on FPV controllers is to make sure they are compatible with flight simulators. FPV flight simulators are computer software created to simulate flying a drone in the real world. To operate the drone in a flight simulator, you connect a controller to the computer and fly as you would in real life. Both the Tiny Hawk kits support the use of simulators, and there's a lot of great reasons to use a drone simulator as practice in conjunction with micro drones. First, you'll have an endless battery life. There's also no need to worry about breaking any gear because you have endless respawns. And finally, they're a lot like a video game, so it can be a lot of fun to race other players. I use Velocidrone from Team Black Sheep as my go-to simulator. Velocidrone has a lot of different courses on different maps where you can race a bunch of other players, or you could just go for a nice cruise for practice. I just want to mention again that I'm not being paid to promote any brand during this video. Velocidrone is a software that I chose, but there are many different flight simulators out there. All right, so that's going to wrap up today's video. You can find pricing information on all the gear that I talked about today in the video description below. While you're there, feel free to drop us a comment if you like today's video. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them there too. Like and subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, from all of us at UAV Coach, blue skies and safe flying everyone.